This is one of my experiments, and a large number of these mirrors focus solar radiation in this way. KVC thermal energy which can be used to, to generate electricity, and later I will describe how it is usually done through a turbine by these large solar power plants with millions of square meters of mirrors. However, these mirror solar heaters are very expensive, and therefore they produce expensive electricity, but our solar heaters are many times cheaper. So, this is my next attempt at finding a cheap way to convert free solar energy into electricity, and my goal is the victory of cheap solar electricity over thermal and nuclear power plants. Our idea is based on such mirrors on the upper surface of similar concrete slabs, which are commonly used for garden paths, sidewalk or covering large areas. A variety of companies produce concrete slabs that are durable and cheap, and technologies for their installation have been known for many years. Moreover, we can meet similar machines for automatic concrete slab laying. It is obvious that these machines drastically reduce the cost of installing concrete slabs and allow us to cover large areas with slabs quickly and efficiently. Here we see spots of solar radiation from each of my mirrors. We see that the spots are trying to unite at one point where a similar receiver should be. Such receivers must heat some kind of liquid heat transfer to a temperature of several hundred degrees, and this thermal energy is used to, to produce electricity. It is obvious that our paths of mirrors must form such long rows. The principles of such rows of mirrors are shown by me in this primitive example. Here we see several receivers of one shot row, and for example, this receiver is the focus point of the solar radiation of these mirrors, but it is obvious that there must be several hundred mirrors here, and this width should be several meters. I should clarify that my experiments use such concrete slabs with multiple mirrors. At the same time, such slabs with one mirror seem to be cheaper. The cheapness of our concrete slabs is very important, because we should strive to reduce the total construction cost of our mirror covering to the level of $15 per square meter. This total cost seems realistic, because the cost of components for our concrete is approximately $2 per square meter, and the cost of different types of mirrors can be several dollars per square meter. The total construction cost of our mirror covering of $15 per square meter results in this cost of our solar heat, half a cent per kilowatt hour. This is the total cost of our mirror covering, and we understand that if it exceeds $15, our solar heat will still be very cheap, and approximately 10 times cheaper than the cost of heat from natural gas. If we have already reduced the cost of our solar heat to this level, half a cent per kilowatt hour, we can turn it into cheap electricity at 5 cents per kilowatt hour. Now I will remind you how the thermal energy from such solar heaters is converted into electricity. When the sun appears, its radiation heats thermal oil inside these tubes to temperatures of almost 400 degrees. This hot oil moves to the center of a solar plant, where a fraction of its thermal energy produces steam for a turbine that generates electricity. The rest of the thermal energy of the oil comes to such heat storages, where the energy heats several thousand tons of molten salt. A few hours later, in the evening or at night, this hot molten salt will produce steam for the same turbine. In addition, my previous video describes this heat storage based on cheap gravel rather than expensive molten salt. This gravel heat storage can accumulate thermal energy not only for the coming night, but also for several non-solar days in a row. Moreover, we can charge our gigantic heat storages with summer thermal energy, and they will store it until the winter months. That is why our solar power plants can be independent of the weather and work just as well in non-solar winters as they do in sunny summers. 
Of course, this is just the beginning of my experiments, and my future videos will describe the testing of this type of solar heaters and its disadvantages. For example, I expect such disadvantages as the accumulation of dirt on the surface of the mirrors and a variety of grass on the edges of a mirror pass and between slabs. That is why our solar power plants need similar machines, which will remove the dirt and grass. In addition, we understand that the sun is constantly moving across the sky, and therefore we need a simple and cheap mechanism to move our receivers. And my future videos will describe the principles of these mechanisms and their operation. Moreover, we can understand that this arrangement of concrete slabs on a horizontal surface is suitable for regions near the equator, and other geographical latitudes may require our mirror paths to be located on slopes or on cheap earthen berms. Also, let's look at my next experiment. It is about noon, and here you see that the radiation from my mirrors is well focused, but the closer to the evening, the worse the focusing, and the situation is similar in the morning. Of course, the problem of this deterioration in focusing requires me to do various experiments and find principles for the correct placement of mirrors, and the results will be shown in my future videos. In addition, perhaps my future videos will show research on how to use such mirrors on the facades of houses. We understand that these mirrors can be used similarly to these ideas, but for heating water with a temperature of several tenths of degrees Celsius. Heating water with solar energy from the mirrors can be used for hot water supply of a house, for its space heating in winter, for heating pool water in spring and autumn, or for other purposes.